Like a moth to a flame, it pulls us in. Next thing we know, we're in a now bears den. Tomorrow, I know it all begins again. But where we're needed, we will go. And I'll go. to heroes of the plains full disclosure i was sitting there listening to the countdown and i'm like all right ready to play gonna fight some demons oh i'm the one that starts the show right great hello uh thank you all for joining in uh as always thank you to demi plane for having us here thank you to our wonderful sponsors sirenscape because epic games need epic sound and tailspire which we are doing a giveaway for five Tailspire licenses. So you and your whole entire group can play all together at the same time. And you could possibly use Demi Plane to help match you with other people playing Tailspire. I don't know, maybe that's cool. Uh, before we get into, I was gonna say preventing the apocalypse, but I feel like the apocalypse is here. So we have to like constrain the apocalypse. We have to deal with it. Yeah, we have to do, exactly. I, I, I will tell you. Protocol. I will tell you one other thing. There, there was a 50% mi split amongst the party of people being really afraid and some of us being like, it must be Tuesday. And I will let you decide who among us reacted, <laughs> how we reacted. Uh, but before we dive in and we turn it over to Todd, let's introduce you beautiful people. So we'll go around the horn the way you are on my screen, starting with Jen. Hello, I am Jen Kretschmer. Um, I am a writer, producer, actor, author, uh, all the things. Um, you can find me on Twitter as at Dreamwisp. You can find me streaming on Twitch as Dreamwisp Jen. On Wednesdays, you can find me as part of Fugue State with Keith Baker, uh, running around in the frontiers of Eberron on uh, twitch.tv slash together, T-W-O, gather studios. Um, that is at uh, 7 p.m. Pacific. Also coming up, I have a bunch of fun things. Um, I am going to be part of Digital Tabletop Fest on Steam. So that's at the end of October. Keep an eye out for that. It's going to be a ton of fun. Um, I also have, as I quickly cross check all the things, um, uh, uh, some other things I'm not allowed to talk about yet. Um, but my sound delve, uh, the disability sounds that came out today. Um, I am the creator of the Accessibility and Gaming Resources Guide and the Disabled Creators and Tabletop Directory. Um, but uh, my sound delve, which is a very cool app, um, came out with a uh, disability sound set. That's a player side app, and it, it's pretty nifty. So give it, give it a look and a listen, and you might hear a familiar voice on there. Awesome, Hope. Ah, oh, I knew I'd have to follow that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Hope Lavelle. You can follow me on Twitter at the Hope Lavelle. I am a mocap performer by day, D and D player by night and day. Uh, you can listen to me play some D and D on uh, what's the show called? Attackers of Opportunity. Opportunity. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you back. <laughs> <laughs> Attackers of Opportunity, wherever you can find podcasts. And yeah, that's that's me. Excellent, Lauren. Hi, I'm Lauren Urban. I'm the content coordinator over at Elgin of the Forgotten Realms. You can find me on Twitter as Obalorin. You can find me right here thinking about fire spells. <laughs> Got bad news for you. Got bad news for you. There's I have. Still... Listen, listen. Yeah. There's reasons I'm thinking about them, but not yeah. casting them. The, the stocks and fire spells have got the stonks are falling on fire yeah, spells. Right yeah, now. the returns on those are real bad right now. Real bad. You know, I, I just need to teach you how to smite real quick, and then you just convert them. <laughs> just convert them. That's, I just that's need what... a couple levels in Paladin all of a sudden. Well, that's we'll, it. We'll, I'll chat with the Phoenix. See what they say. How, how hard can that be to learn? Um, <laughs> Megan. <laughs> Yeah, I just had to choose a whole bunch of new spells because we are level 17 now. And uh, yeah, it's going to be real hard not to use fire today. Um, been a couple of weeks since I introduced myself. I think my name is still Megan Kenrick. You can find me on Twitter and Twitch at Megan Kenrick. Uh, you can also find me over on Todd Kenrick's YouTube channel where we talk about all things D&D. &D. 
I would just like to say you were out for one week and the balance of reality collapsed. And if that's not the clue of what, why Todd needs you around, I don't know what is. Uh, or, yeah. or the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> my balance was also off because of my cat. Uh, apparently not being in the game makes me uh, very not dexterous. <laughs> I get it. Uh, you need that guidance. That yeah. is true. <laughs> that needed that extra D4. Adam. Hey, I'm Adam Bradford. I'm the Chief Development Officer at Demiplane. You can find me on Twitter at Bad Eye Adam. And I am playing Briv Steel Marrow, the Savage Paladin. And um, I was definitely one of the ones that is just completely mad about this situation because this is totally normal. We've been through far, far worse than this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Define. I mean, define worse. Actually, don't because we still have people's interests. We don't have time. We, 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 we haven't needed to reset reality yet. So, objectively, we've been through worse <laughs> this yeah. week. This, that's true. That's true. The, the, it's still early. Uh, B. Mm. Dave Walters, I say words about things, creative director here at Demi Plane. And you can find me all over the interwebs, wherever fine streaming content can be located. Just follow me at B. Dave Walters because it's uh, time to get to getting because we got to settle a, the score with some demons. And I give it over to you, Todd. Yeah, I get to dungeon master all of these folks, and I'm the creative manager over at Idol Champions, and I do a bunch of D and D stuff uh, behind the scenes, sometimes with wizards, and a bunch of stuff that has not come out yet, and you'll find out later. So, it'll be cool. Uh, but previously, on Heroes of the Plains, y'all met in, an <laughs> <laughs> and now the demon war has begun. You are in Avernus. All the fires, all the warmth has been sucked out. It is about a cool 50 degrees. There is no life. There is no sound. There is no movement of air. And before you is just endless miles of destroyed war machines exploded from the inside out. They're corpses of demons and corpses of devils. But it appears all of these demons have since left through a variety of portals, apparently to multiple planes of existence and multiple worlds. And it was at that point that I freely heard messages from Rarf that virtually every city in the prime material plane is under attack and some had already fallen. And that's where we are. You are in a cold, dead Avernus stretching out in all directions. What are you doing? Well, I, think, I... <laughs> I think Alindra and I are actually still on Storm Herald in the library. So, uh, and everybody else has gone down through the porthole. I think as, I don't know where of, Whittle is right of, now, though. As of this exact second, only freely is boots on the ground in Avernus. Uh, he poked through the portal saw that the Ninterveil was under attack and came back to tell you all that. Okay. Yeah, and the Ninterveil is overrun. It has been evacuated. Do you want... Sorry, go ahead. Do you want to have any connection with the Shadow Army there? The Shadow Army where? They were in the veil. Gotcha. Uh, I don't know who. Uh, well, Adam, have you been keeping up your correspondence with your followers, the uh, the Shadowfell creatures from the Ninter Vale? Oh no, not at not at all. It's <laughs> okay. Any, so you you, you, you kind, kind of, of like yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I barely keep up with my wife. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair fair enough. Uh, it does not mean that those creatures don't still exist, though. Um, I uh, Adam cannot remember. Um, was that? Could we communicate with them? Mm -hmm. That was when my eyes would go black. Yeah, and I would control the armies of right. the Shadowfell. Right, and so Briv didn't do any of that kind of stuff, though. He just like talked to them normal, right? But you, yeah, you just talk to them normal. You have enough of a connection with that previous Shadowfell army that you ran into the in the Ninter Vale and had followed you multiple locations and, and kind of helped along with battles. So if you sent a message, you could definitely 
get in contact with them. You know, like the mayor or who is posing as the mayor and the king, the, the, the head of the king's guard. You know, all the roles that these shadow born creatures were kind of taking on back in episode two of this show. I do uh, the one of the last things I asked Rarv was where he was so we could come and reinforce him. And I do not recall if I got the answer to that question. You did not get the answer to that question. Hmm. Um, you get a message back. We are I'm Baldur's Gate. I'm thinking of possibly mo- m- heading to Sigil. Uh, I mean, do you want us to come and help you defend that city or, or meet you there? I haven't seen the Lady of Pain in a while. I mean, I guess nobody sees the Lady of Pain I mean, twice. But yeah, Never mind. But do you want us there or do you want us in Sigil? That's uh, maybe it's best we meet at Sigil so we know we're not being watched. What? Okay. The Lady of Pain Just knows a, she is not being watched. A thought on that. I mean, you certainly can go there, but does it not seem a, a bit foolish to go to a place that's a hub of all of the portal locations when they've been opening portals and going or maybe to it's exactly where places? we should be. I mean, I do think Sigil would be the last place in the whole universe to fall or the site of the last battle, which either way, that's the place I would want to be. Uh, there's just so many there's so many portals I don't know where to start what do we do let's go to the end of the line then and work our way back I guess we've got to find ourselves some help we've got to definitely rally we cannot take care of all of this ourselves we can't well, be just running around well, not with that attitude. so the Hoopa Duke is repelling do we think that we can find anything out about the strategy that they're using that would be uh. valuable I said I, I would never go that. back there. <laughs> it's just, Hooper Duke was fine, but just my, my time in Wild Mount was unpleasant. It was unpleasant. I don't disagree. <laughs> uh, sending only works on the same plane of existence, correct? Yes. There is it's, no... It's, it, no, no, there is no. You hmm. can, no. Sending is a... Yeah, you can send to other planes of existence. There is just a chance it won't arrive. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we could we could call Hooper Duke from here, you know? I mean, I I, I still think about those those hot dogs that they shot out of that machine, but that that the was the the one cherry on a very unpleasant Sunday of Wildmount. Do we I mean, remember do we... anyone in Hooper Duke that we could contact because or or you will enjoy you would have to do it because we I... met the you... traveler in Hooper Duke. Ah, <laughs> uh, do we want to call that guy? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you... I, I think at this point, anyone who is not a demon should be on the, the please call list, right? <laughs> uh, it, you know, Penelope, um, it, you're my dearest friend in the whole wide world, but you, you got a, you got a couple of problematic associations going here with this whole situation. We, you got you got demons, you know. You used to live here. Now there's the traveler. I, I mean. I, are, are you saying that there's something wrong with making friends with everyone? <laughs> like, like everyone? You, you know, no. Uh, apparently, we, we, we might have run into the hard limit of this life philosophy. Like, we, we might be at it right now. Yes. Uh, but I mean, you know, I, I guess the Traveler's got a vested interest in not seeing demons rule everything everywhere. I can send a message if you want. You also have allies at Mount Celestia. Well, but Would they the seem gods not be. They seemed a little hands off, if you notice. Like they kind of patched up the the ship. What but they do didn't they think really they're see... going to rule? Who do they think is going to worship worship them if if the entire material plane falls? We well, should but... bring the Norn back. At back this where? point, I'm not opposed to any solution here. Well, didn't oh, they get honest. stranded somewhere? They did want to bring balance to things. Um, I thought well, we fixed that. Well, but like, no, we got rid of the bad ones, but I don't think we actually replaced the the real ones. I don't think. <laughs> I thought we did. I thought that was the whole thing that Alindra did. Was... Oh, well, you know, some somewhere in the depths of my consciousness, I feel Avrin nodding yes at me. So maybe <laughs> we, we, we must have done it. I mean, I guess we could 
check in with them. They, I guarantee they're going to give us some, like, fortune cookie answer, though. But, I mean, I, I guess it's worth know. a shot. I think it sounds like a good idea. Because, like you said, they like to bring balance to everything. They might have a solution. Well, that and worst case, probably, uh, they probably got a, a couple of, uh, competent fighters uh, in Asgard. So, you know, that's as good a place as any to check, I guess. So Valheim is, is successfully repelling at the moment. The demons uh. are, are not succeeding with mobility here. Yeah, they are having trouble chasing all the gnomish cities that are like driving around in all the flying castles because that <laughs> entire the entire existence of Valheim is one of constant movement. I guess there's just one other question we need to ask. Are we trying to jump Storm Herald wherever we want to go? Or are we going to take our chances with the portals? Because uh, as I'm looking here, there's about 50 to 400. Well, I would prefer to use the, the means of transportation that was not created by demons, if anyone I mean, objects. I mean, it, also, it all my stuff is here, right. including okay. Spiral. And so. Well, and Storm Herald has been blessed. They shouldn't be able to just overrun it too easily. So I guess I will fly back up through the hole in the bottom of the ship to get back on board. Also, there's there's one other thing that we should think about. It, it's all well and good that we can go and help try to save people and repel the demons, but we got started on this whole thing because of what was going on with Asmodeus, and we're still trying to figure out what's going on. Shouldn't we... I can't believe I'm still saying this. Shouldn't we go look for Belle? Shouldn't we figure out how this happened and who's really behind it? But that's just a trap, right? Probably, but at this point, we could bounce around the universe trying to save what we can, or we can find out how this happened and why, and fix the root cause. Right? Is May Belle a demon or a devil? I get devil. the devil. They all look the devil same. Devil Commander, uh, second in line, essentially, was the former ruler former ruler of Avernus, but then was usurped for Zariel to take over, seemed to be upset about this. However, I believe, and if I'm not mistaken, and I'd like to just double check my, my knowledge here, that this is not the first time that Asmodeus has uh, removed one of his lieutenants from power. Uh, they seemed upset and it turned out to be a trick. Is that correct? That is correct. Asmodeus plays a long game. Like any long-lived creature, he has all the time in the world, and, and then some. There's no rush. Uh, so, what is it about this moment that has made Asmodeus decide to move? And where does Belle play into that? Before I enter the ship, do I see any soul coins? We saw tons of soul coins being poured into what we thought was Avernus. Do I see any soul coins? Oh yeah, strung about. When I touch them, do I get that creepy presence of a soul that I used to get? You don't, but you get the presence, a fragment of a soul. Uh, yeah, I don't know if, they, if this is relevant, but the coins seem not the same. Um, the, there's like a, a fragment? I don't know if that means it was already so, used or... Yes, that means they've been used for various purposes. So coins can be used to answer questions at times. Uh, they can be used for to power war machines. Uh, they can be used... Um, to uh, power someone who's had their life drained away. Alindrin, you are not boots on the ground, correct? You're still in Storm Herald. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, the, the Griff the... is flying around, however, surveying things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, the exact layout. It's Freely's on the ground. Griff and Penelope were right by the hole at the bottom of Storm Herald, so, so presumably they can see, uh, see, and Whittle was, and then Orkira and Alindra were higher up in the ship. Freely, give me an investigation check with advantage. I was about to say, that is not my lucky boy's strength. <laughs> you know, I'm like, noticing stuff is not his jam. Uh, oh, well, though, I guess that's not terrible. Um, that is going to be 17. Yeah, the way on this coin is weird. 
Something doesn't feel right. Like you've had the you've had this coin in your hand before. It's uncommonly heavy. I relay this to them. I'm like, hey, you got, you know, I never, I, I never like these things. Uh, they are heavy in every sense of the word. Um, is or am I close enough that I can relatively easily fly to Penelope? Because I guess theoretically she's had the most exposure. She lived here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I bring it up. I, I try. I, if I if you said they were all around, I get a couple handfuls of them. In, you get a couple of handfuls. Uh, yeah. Penelope, where are you right now? I'm at the base where the opening of the Storm yeah. Herald was. And is that where Elendra was with you as well? No, just uh, or I was here. in the library. No, Braven Whittle. Yeah. Raven yeah. Whittle, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you 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 fly up into the bottom of Stormhair with a whole bunch of coins, probably dropping a few on your way as well. Oh, sorry, we, we, sorry. <laughs> as you yell, sorry, it just like echoes <laughs> forever. <laughs> you just hear your voice come back. <laughs> sorry. Yes. Uh, yeah, you see, he's just got palms and you know, uh, both hands full of soul coins. They look like soul coins to you. Uh, Penelope will pick one up and examine it. It it feels like a soul coin. There, you don't sense a soul in them. What would you say was wrong with this? I, I mean, it's like I don't know. It's it's like it's like there was just like a, like a like a piece of a soul in it. Like it, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't it's not right. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're all wrong. Soul coins are terrible. But I mean, it's like not right though. Something's I, different about it. Am I feeling what he's feeling? Yeah, like once once he mentions the weight and everything else, something is off about this. And with my experience in Avernus, is, do I have any idea what's going on? This one has not been spent. You know that for sure. This coin was never spent. Is, is it counterfeit? It's a counterfeit coin for sure just from the magical energy you're getting off of it, the fact that there's some kind of fragmented soul barely attached, just enough to give off kind of a, a, the radiation of a soul inside. Ah, counterfeit. In the psychic link, I'm like, why would someone counterfeit soul coins? That's what Bell was doing, right? That's what we I... think. And if this is part of the plan to make it easier for the demons to overrun the devils so they could invade everywhere. Okay. I know this sounds kind of crazy, but before we go to Sickle, I think we should go find Bell. All right. I mean, I agree with Penelope. Bell. Yeah. We should I mean, go like Bell. now. All right. Where? We He's don't know where he is. Frost He's Bell? in 10 towns. We, oh, yeah. You remember Penelope? You scried on him. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was, yeah, well, yeah, that was before we fought like several hundred Ten towns is falling. Yeah. Well, then yeah. we should probably what jump we had quickly. Been told. Unless we oh. scry again. What uh, um, Rarv told me, they evacuated Waterdeep, so all two million people were not killed. The city was destroyed, but apparently some people made it out. Uh, most of Waterdeep was destroyed, oh. unfortunately, yeah. But some people didn't make it out. I mean, let, let's jump to Tin Towns then, I guess. Okay. Maybe okay. I can meet that, that Trovis guy. I heard a lot of stories about him. <laughs> all right, who's, uh, who's uh, because... manning the ship? I, I can go over and, and jump Storm Herald, but because Whittle was on the Gatling gun for like most of the last episode, she's like, I I can take care of the jumping of the Storm Herald. And her arms are kind of stuck from like holding onto the Gatling gun for so long. Um, she just kind of, kind of maneuvers over to the um, to the runes at the helm and, and jumps to 10 towns. You jump to Ten Towns. Uh, you go to the location because you got a pretty good beat on where Bell was. He is underneath a glacier near Ten Towns, and in the distance, you can immediately see Ten Towns, just a sea of demons, just like ants swarming over the town. You don't hear any screams coming from that area. It's about ten miles off, but you can see that entire place has been decimated. Just completely overrun and below you is a crack in the glacier and you can see that there are actually steps in made of the ice heading downwards in, a, in one of the crevasses let's go do we see um a portal in 10 towns where you maybe do. they're they're pouring out of uh they're not pouring out of the portal right now but there is a portal yeah gleaming in the distance okay uh, so I, I wonder, you know, 
Does everyone see that portal over there? Yeah. I think they're coming from that. If if we can maybe like set up uh, some kind of trick portal right in front of that doorway, uh, they can walk into because they think they're gonna come into ten towns and instead they they just enter another portal and they get trapped. It's gonna be a little risky to get down there though. But I what do you all think? I don't think they're gonna go through that portal anymore. Yeah, I think they're pretty much out doing what they're gonna do. They've left hell. They don't want to go well, back. I don't know how much more we're going to come through that portal, but... I mean, we were just in Avernus. It's empty. That's not good. Uh, you said there's a crack down into the glacier? There is. I just stand on the edge of the ship, and I'm like, well, we're going to do this? Yeah. Is, is this the same crack leading into the part of the glacier that... It no? is not. Different. Okay. Different glacier? D- different different yeah. crack. Cause, Cause, I thought we destroyed that. Okay. Yeah. All right. But you, you, sir. Um, the, the, the indication is where Bell was scryed is in this crack, though. Correct? Theoretically. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Right. right. Then I, I just say, uh, well, the good news is it's freezing here, so that fire stuff might actually come in handy. And I step off and fly down into the crack. <laughs> <laughs> that spurs on Orkira for a moment because she's been still like frantically trying to do stuff in this book and she closes the book and she puts away the pen and she goes Alindra I need like a moment can, can you give me an extra moment so they don't get too far ahead yes absolutely and I'm gonna try to uh, pray to the phoenix and say I don't know if you know this the entire universe has kind of gone to crap and uh You're awesome, but I haven't had a holy symbol for a little bit, and I really need one right now because I need, I I just need to be able to protect my friends. Um, I was gonna do the whole book thing like you said, but this is taking a while. Is there anything else I could do? Commune. Can I commune without a holy symbol? Because at the moment, uh, technically, I can't. I will allow it. Okay, then yeah, I'll uh, I'll spend the spell slot to do it right away because everybody's leaving. I will cast commune. Everyone has left Orkira alone. Where are you right now, Orkira? I think she's still in the library. I think she's she's closed the book she was working on and stashed the pen and said, you know, try to save me some time and she's just like looking down at this book that she's barely started to write thinking about what freely just said which is the fire is going to come in handy knowing she can't do any of that like i all i want to do is is help all i want to do is be able to help and i'm i just i can't do as much as i want to and i just need something you know i can i can work on the whole thing once the entire universe is saved i promise is at this moment you feel your bones explode and all of you catches on fire and you disintegrate okay and the everybody ashes thanks for all... joining me <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I guess Phoenix says nope oh. alright I'll be the just, ashes bye. fall on top of the book before you and as the dust kind of like wafts away from the book there's archaic primordial writing on every page and then you feel yourself suddenly sucked back in again and for a moment there's this this dragonborn skeleton with large wings and fire all the flame that erupted out of you gets sucked back and becomes flesh again and before you is a new book of the phoenix written in the ashes of your own death okay that's both disgusting and hardcore I'll open it up it's do I... your new book of the phoenix do I get a sense since I had I yeah it's made out of me but is there am I sure that there's nothing bad about this I didn't just like replace the original book with a new book that's gonna uh, force the phoenix to be doing things right no but you are intimately connected to this book <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I would have thought my blood would have been redder. Okay. All right. 
it's at this moment because Briv never went down. Uh, uh, You're just like, like, are you are you like in the library eating nuts? No, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much just like. <laughs> They're roasted nuts now. Whoa. I don't know if you noticed, but I exploded. And, and you, you see like Briv is like healing a little bit. Metal is kind of coming back. And he's like, that was something else, Orkira. Oh, I didn't know you were here. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. That so, was... dost thou think that I can just explode and write like a comic book? Or... <laughs> I don't know. I've I've never done this before. Um, do you want to try? I'll I'll be here in case it goes wrong. Is that how all books are made? <laughs> oh, and Alindra's not. standing there, like covered in ashes, <laughs> and there's like the little comic book <laughs> puff, and she looks at Riv and goes. Seriously? <laughs> Listen, if I had any idea about what was going to happen, I would have, like, put up a shield or something. I don't know. Are you all oh, right? I'm fine. I don't <laughs> know. I mean, other than the psychological harm of seeing what I just witnessed, but I am physically fine. And to the Phoenix, I'll say, thank you? I think... Is this, is this what you needed? It's what you needed. Okay, I guess you're right, okay. And you're okay with me using this? I've never done, was that blood magic? Did I just do blood magic? That's really weird. <laughs> Elaborate. Uh, I used my blood to have magic things happen? Then yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so defeated. <laughs> but you're you're okay with me using this book? Yes. Okay. I still promise I'm not going to summon you, and I will take the book. Do I need to attune to it, or is it just... I mean, it's part oh, of me. Oh, you're very attuned to it. I was about to yeah. say. <laughs> I feel like you've spent years attuning to every component of that book, actually. Yeah, that's, that's, that is auto-tune, my friend. I, yeah. yeah, you know, as soon as that question came out of my mouth, Yes, yes, okay. All right. Well, I guess if there's uh, any holy symbol to have to go after an army of demons, it would be one written in my own blood. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's go find Freely, okay. All right, how does everyone get down? I know Freely's got wings, and I feel like he just did kind of the Iron Man too. you complete me, and then, like, wings <laughs> pop down. Uh, how does everyone else get back down? Do I still have that bat cloak? You do. Can I fly with that? You can turn into a bat. I think you can fly too. Oh yeah. I will yeah, say I'll do that. If if Freely sees any hostiles, he's super going to engage because he thinks they're all right behind him. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh no. Okay, <laughs> here's the question about Freely's wings. Could they support a Penelope? <laughs> uh I will allow it at half speed. <laughs> yeah, we've established Penelope's very small, so, you know, yeah. I mean, Penelope. I've been able to halflings, is that quarter speed? I've, <laughs> I've been able to carry both halflings, so why yeah. not one halfling carry the other, right? Sure. So, I just been too generous as a TM. And we we're gonna, we're gonna, we'll, make a, we'll make a dramatic entrance, Penelope. Like, yeah. yeah! Right, exactly. Anyone who wants to ride upon Spiral, as Spiral is betwixt mine thighs, then thou canst ride with Briv and Spiral. No one, what? no takers. Uh, Alinda, you want to go with Briv, or I can, I can carry you. I, I Briv pat spiral okay. behind him. It's like, get in. The water is fine. I think you better go with Briv. I think, I think he's gonna feel really lonely if you don't go with him. <laughs> I don't. All right, I'm and I go, and I'll, I'll, okay. I'll hop on. I'm only doing this because thou dost need the ride, not because of any kind of pity or. <laughs> Whittle, how do you get down there? I um, find dim light or a shadow, make my over, my way over there and grab the edges of my cape and just say, bat, turn into a bat and <laughs> fly down. Perfect. But I, I, I just want to like fly close enough so I can sort of get a lay of the land and assess the situation. Yeah, you, you see the demons in the distance. You don't see any traps of any kind. You don't see other creatures. Um, 
There is some steam coming up from that crevasse, but that's about it. And, Are, uh, so, is this okay. like a pretty vast landscape? Oh, yes. Okay. It, it goes on endlessly. Okay. Not like a Vernus endlessly, but quite a ways. All right, you all head, head into the crevasse and down the center staircase, and you get to the bottom. And you see immediately lots of squidlings digging through the ice. Little mind flare squidlings. Aw. And they oh, look legit oh, terrified. Hell. And yours, really? That's, but, hey, okay, first of all, that is the common misconception, Fireball. Please <laughs> we knew tell me that not everyone did not prepare fireball. Please say that there are plenty of fireballs left. Yeah. Uh, give me a perception check, Freely. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let me check something real quick here. While you check that, I will hold up the, the book of me <laughs> to Briv and say, well, now I'm prepared for fireball. Uh, 18. Uh, 18. Mm -hmm. They look scared and non-threatening. Uh, they are by definition threatening. <laughs> like, they there, should look scared. You know, are there I, demons I, trying I, I, to I, get at them? We'll just there say are no I, demons. I point the staff like I'm about to fireball. To be fair, Sophia did have, have a familiar who was. Uh, oh, I killed it repeatedly. Um, I, I do. It's a it's I, like I still, a I still sibling. have uh, no, Penelope no. next to me, and I point no, the staff and I'm about to fireball, and I'm like. Penelope, they're really afraid and kind of harmless, and I still would like to eradicate them, though, but I figure I'm just gonna, like, morally check in here with, uh... Freely! And Penelope's gonna, like, grab his face. Uh-huh. He's gonna say, gotta think about this. Okay, let's think, let's think, let's think. We should save our magic for whatever they're being scared from. Well, but whatever they're being scared from is probably fireproof, so I feel like I can kind of expend this one, and it's gonna be all right. I'd really? Like I can't argue with that logic. Okay. Oh my God. Boom! <laughs> Black oh. <laughs> no, not like, the without, without, without taking my eyes off Penelope, he's like. <laughs> can can I, while the fireball goes off, rush in and grab one? Oh. Uh, hmm. yes, you can. Okay. A anyone else grabbing a squidling? I as many as I can get. Oh. Also, also, it is true that in a previous show. She really did have a squidling uh, familiar, and I really yep. did kill it repeatedly. <laughs> like, yes. Probably at least three times. Well, yeah. to be fair, you know, in your defense, it was a purple worm to begin yep. with. Yep. Yep. I'm like, OG, OG friends of the show, remember, new friends, <laughs> that all happened. How many, uh... But, but just whittle... to check in moral compass-wise, this is basically killing a bunch of babies, right? Killing a bunch is of baby that... mind players. <laughs> <laughs> Alignment is not fixed anymore. I'm just just checking before I I Dost I thou go kill, kill baby all the fighters when thou dost see them in thine hair? Yep. Uh Alinder, you do know uh so so Whittle, you are moving extremely fast and grabbing as many as you can. Alinder, mm -hmm. you do notice that they are uh they might be the seventh generation of Sir Bissalot. In fact, Aww. it oh god, it might be that Sir Bissalot was the or the progenitor of this but, entire species. Oh, oh my, they, they might be purple worms, not, not squidlings. Um, There's a little bit of squidling tadpole shipped into the purple worm that ended up being Sir Bissalots. There's a lot of may, like- what hath hand by the scruff of the neck. What hath Sophia's rot? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and, and, and I, I, I just imagine like Mage Hand picking them up like puff, puppies by the scruff of the neck and occasionally just like, Blowing out the little flame on him, like. <laughs> yeah, uh, freely. You ignite them a lot. Of, you ignite quite a few with the fireball. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the efforts between Whittle and Alindra uh, do save much to your chagrin. Uh, most of them. Uh, I'm not too. But they get a stern. Here, if you're okay with it, they get a stern cresting. <laughs> <laughs> and you've shown them who is boss. Unless you want to roll the dice, I will go in that no. direction. No, 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 no. I, 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 I don't feel like about this. Like, I need to counter their attempts at trying to rescue any of them. I'm just like, oh, man, this Sophia. So if I, next time I see her, I be, she's off busy being a tree right now. But when I tell her that she, ah, and just kind of stalk ahead. Yeah. She, she would be pleased as punch. 
the little things <laughs> that are be. going to kill us one day? There was a lot of assumptions in that sentence, and I would like to look down at one of the ones that I've grabbed and ask it, who are you and why are you here? Oh, I don't oh, know. Eat your brain. Elders blessed. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got its tentacles wrapped around your knee like a toddler. Oh. Uh, the demon made us use the demon, the devil. I don't know. The thing with the horns, it made us, it made us work on the coins. Okay. The thing that uh, made you work on the coins. Yes. I will describe Bell to it. Yes, that's it. Exactly. Okay. Is there anything else besides the bunch of you and Bell here? There are devils, but they have left. How many other devils? There are... There's only Bell. No, but I mean, before you said there were other devils? Seven? I see counting And it holds tentacles. up like four <laughs> tentacles. <laughs> okay. Um, four, five, can, six, um. <laughs> can you describe any of them? The insecty, like the cold, spears. They all look like that? Yes, they all look like that to me. Okay, that's rude. Um, do you remember why I they're making rude. you make uh, coins? They wanted they said something about uh, fake coins, fake coins for a bonus, real coins for here. So we lift, we lift the thing, and then we lift them down, and then we bring them back up. I find this hard to believe. Thou canst barely move thine body, much less some kind of r running some kind of hellish slime shop here. <sighs> Briv snaps his fingers, and you see a little flame come up in his fingers, <laughs> and he's like getting ready to cast Flame Strike. You see his little tendrils like kind of like get a little close to being a mind blast. Are <laughs> <laughs> like, both of okay, you? Okay, calm down, calm down, everybody. <laughs> You're going to go into timeout, and I'm not going to indicate which one of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. Are you uh, sure? Important point of clarification. Did we get a rest between the fight with the demons and now? Because we fought them, and then we went down into the ship, and we went down. I mean, I don't know how long technically we travel haven't. took. So no, no. I, okay. I will right. have allowed a short rest at best. Sorry. Okay. Okay. I mean, we're on the clock. I get it. Um... Okay. Yeah, otherwise I would have Legend Lord by now, but okay. I don't have it ready to go. Moving forward, we, Bell is here. According so, to these guys, Bell is here. Yeah, Bell is here, and they were, they were creating the fake coins. They were taking them down to Avernus. Yeah, we found fake, fake and coins. And getting the real coins here, which means it was was entrenching their hold here. I mean, there's one person who knows, and apparently he's down this tunnel. Oh, no, no, it sounds like All right. Seven who know. There well, were said, other devils here. That's what yeah. he was saying. So he now they're out destroying people. We gotta move yeah. your people. This thing doesn't yeah. know how to count. But they yeah. are allied with Bell, possibly. So, I, I hey. bet a lot of them are allied with Bell. Keep moving down the. Keep moving down the tunnel. Wait, you is, move. Okira, what? What are you saying? Is no one else bothered by the fact that the there's a bunch of devils who are supposed to be the ones who are keeping the demons at bay, who have decided, screw the universe, let the demons go? Yes, I'm concerned about that. Well, I mean, Bell used to run things and he got booted out. Maybe he figured he'd rather see it all burn or not burn. Well, him well, and seven other devils? Sure, it makes sense to me. These they didn't like the way things were being run. Yeah, he offered him something better. There's a difference between Although, quit, quitting and wanting to burn everything to the ground. I, I mean, I personally have done both, honestly. Uh, yeah, me too. You, you know, there is a fairly disturbing implication there that if this is some sort of rebel rebellion, ha, 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 uh, then Asmodeus might actually be right and really didn't mean for any of this to happen. I uh, know. I still think he probably has something to do with this and might be one of those seven. I'm just, I'm con I'm just concerned that this is bigger than we think. And uh, reality is on fire, so it's pretty big. But you know what, Briv? Briv? We should not kill Bell before they get to ask him some questions. 
no promises, but it'll probably take me at least three or four swings to do it. So no, that's plenty I, of time to ask questions. No, but I mean, like you got like two swings, and I got two swings, and then Penelope is gonna like turn into some big and step on him. Like it, it's it's about six seconds. Very but well. you know what? Let, 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 we'll figure it out when we get there. And I continue down the hallway. You move down the hallway, and uh, before is... I leave, I want to turn to all the squid leagues and I want to say, "Get out of here, and don't come back." And also, don't ever tap into someone's brain. It's not a nice thing to do. It is their nature. We just doomed dozens of poor souls to a life as a mind flayer. Brib, you yeah. left. <laughs> you went off to go kill Bell. Sure. I thought. Yeah. That's a disturbing amount of mercy we're having. You just can't today. handle the truth. <laughs> That's true. They know. That's yeah. what you're doing here. Mm-hmm. All Just right. Moving the needle around. <laughs> <laughs> you move into the next room, and around the corner, Wait. you see seven ice devils, insectoid blue, with spears, and they are all corpses on the ground. And How you see, like they, were they were all killed. How? <clears throat> torn to pieces and you see Bell on his throne but chained to his throne in this kind of ice palace that he's formed underneath the ground he's chained to it? he's chained to it and his horns have both been snapped off and his wings have been torn it's a trap. off his body we can't get out of here, it's a trap we know it was Penelope. It looks like thou hast had a bad day. Hey, Bill. I tried to help. Tried um, to help what? I wanted to be back in charge of the blood war. Okay, and what would you have done if you became in charge again, huh? What would be different? I would do a better job than Serial. Serial should have never been put in charge. Who did this to you right now? Who did this? Asmodeus. Of course, of course, obviously. Okay. What? Using true... oh, go, go ahead. Using true sight, do I see Bell as? being described or do I see Bell? You see Bell is described. You see this large red devil with his horns snapped clean off and his his wings torn off and you see the spark of life in him fading as he has been stabbed multiple times by the pointy end of a staff. As this conversation is going on because I we were expecting this to be a trap, I'm keeping a eye ear smell out for the trap coming. You see a portal into Avernus. You see just soul coins all over this cavern. Real soul coins. And you see Avern coins that they were minting and melting to change into counterfeit coins. That they were doing that here? Yep. Okay, and is there, do I get the sense there's anybody else in this room? Is there any other way in or out? Uh, do I see anything don't... wrong with this place? Nope. You don't hear any other creatures down here at all. I'm keeping that watch up and in the psychic link, I'll relay everything that I just saw. Okay. Penelope, Penelope's gonna walk forward to Bell and like close and she's just gonna look at him and just say like you're my friend Belle you're my friend too Penelope Riv we gotta at least get him out of these chains it's not right I mean we're probably going to unchain him and he'll have some kind of spark of life and try to kill us and then I'll kill him so I mean either way win he can die on his feet or knees, whatever he can do, but he at least won't be chained. And if thou dost try to betray us, I turn to, to Bell at this point in time, 
And then it's going to go right through the little broken horn head on the top of thine shoulders, and thou wilt die at my feet. I have nothing left. Hmm. That is very sad. And then uh, Briv starts to uh, uh, undo the chains. You can have all of the herbs. There's no one there. You take off his chains. You break the chains, and Bell slumps forward onto the ground. <clears throat> and you can see the exposed bones for where his wings were. He's pointing out. Okay, so... so and I'm stand, very much standing over him. I'm like, Asmodeus clearly had it within his power to finish him, but he left him here knowing we'd find him. Why? He had a hundred times to kill and trap us, so it's not just that. He wants us to know this. Why? And I lean down, like, next to Bell, and I look at him, and I'm like, why is Asmodeus doing this? Like, what is he trying to accomplish? He said he found some other world. And they was leaving this multiverse. I don't know what he was talking about. Oh, did he find the first world? No. Oh, no. Well, he was from the first world. <laughs> and then he tore my horns off and tore off my wings and said he knew he hoped I would do what I did. While I'm down next to him, I just slowly extend the sun blade and I'm like, do you want a warrior's death? Or, or, do you want to go take over the nine hells? Because Belinda's right, they need someone and we need someone and the universe needs someone. There's nothing left. Well, but there and will got be. A, and you've got a place to start. Avernus was once a playground. You get, to, you get to remake the whole thing the way you want to. And I'll be willing you help me. I would do anything for my friends, but this, this has to be you. Your pity. Well, thou kind of has this it because thou art pretty pitiful right now. This isn't pity. This is. We need someone in the Nine Hells stopping the demons from coming and doing their job. And there's no one there now. Oh, we do need that. Pity or not, we do need that. <laughs> I mean, I don't need. This we don't even know where Zariel. We don't, even know, we don't even know where Zariel is. Uh, give me a persuasion check. Who wants to do it? Who's I'll do it. Case? You do I got it. a five bow. Briv wants to give the hell punch. Oh. You got an advantage. I will give you guidance, Penelope. <laughs> that is a plus. What, what's a, what's a guidance? B4. Before? That is a 26. I will go back to the Nine Hells, and I will build everything back up again. And I will win the Blood War one day. Mm. <laughs> and he walks over to the portal to Avernus. You're always welcome back. Does that no day is? have a flaw, a weakness. Or do you have any idea where we can find anything more about this plan of his, what he's done? I know if that someday you want his job. If you're talking to him, it's already too late. He wants everything. He wants order. He wants the death of chaos. He wants to be a god. 
and he pops down into the portal. Broken and disheveled. I hope he's going to be okay. If we'd killed him here, he would have just come back there anyway. I don't know. That's... There's something to be said about him deciding to go back on his own volition. Agreed. If, at least now, if he can hold the Nine Hells, if we can come up with a way to stop the invasion, it will actually stop. Otherwise, it's just never going to end. So, we are in a room full of soul coins. Did we find out... Fake ones? Real ones. These real, real and fake. This is yeah. where they were making the fake ones out of the Avern coins. So there's Avern coins, fake coins, and then real coins that they were swapping out. How dost I release a soul from within the coin? You just I, I coin. Just think hard. I pick one up and I walk over to Briv and I have I have it in my hand and I go, you, you just want it to happen. And I release the soul and it the soul coin disintegrates. Briv in picks my hand. up a coin and just And the soul dissipates from the coin. Briv looks up and then he starts scam scampering around and then his goal is to clean the whole room out and release every single soul in there. Okay. However long it takes. He's going to keep do at it. Everyone else? Anyone else releasing souls? Mm -hmm. I'll start to help, but then I'm going to move over to these frozen devils in the in the ice. You said they were dead? Yeah. Did we find out were these helping Bell or were these helping uh, Asmodeus? They were helping Bell. Do we Who know? Was apparently unwittingly helping Asmodeus. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, Rend and I are both holding a few squidlings um, still, and <laughs> we teach them how to think real hard. And if you hold the coins up to your head and you think real hard about releasing the souls, you can you can help these poor souls. All of these squidlings are running around just touching coins and releasing souls. <laughs> I do hope you wash your tentacles first. Those souls are probably tainted now. Some kind of what mind throwing energy. What is washing? Oh, we're going to have a conversation about hygiene. You just see point. Ren shrug like... <laughs> <laughs> Do we think we can get any more information out of... I pulled sk someone's skin off once. <laughs> Let's not do that anymore. I did too. How didst thou do it? Oh, I just start here by the jaw? Oh, and then I pull it method. like a chicken. Or like I, when corn? I heard a corn. That's how I did it. I started from the fingernails, uh, but it definitely took far too long. So I'll have to try the nose method at some point. This one guy grabbed both his legs. Mm. Do we think there's <laughs> anything more we can get out of uh, these creatures? Any other questions we want to ask? Or at this point... Else. Okay, so over the telepathic bond with the group, I will. Oh, freely, you're really not going to like this one. Um, we need a way to reach out to many, many, many people. And I look at the, and I kind of look back at the group meaningfully. Oh, I'm not saying we say? should do that, but I want to raise the option because the I straits don't are so the dire. But use them as telephones, like plunk them in a bunch of different places and ask them to relay messages. Well, they were making me think of the elder brains. In the That's way that they can communicate idea. across. So are demons and devils running all about. I would rather the demons and devils win than help the elder brains. Fair. 
I mean, can't we just yell really loud and raise our voices? Or some kind of magic tell everyone in the entire continent all at one time? Well, if we know that Esmodeus wants something beyond the plains, and it's not the first world, well, Sigil is at the center of everything. If it's not there, at least someone there may know what lay beyond it. Or how to get to it. Yeah, we should we should get going. Yeah. Have I ever heard or read about anything beyond the, the, the I mean, Far Realms is obviously out there. First World is out there. Far Realms, what, what, what Bell said seems odd. Some other world. Doesn't really track with you. How so? I mean, it's just so... There's another world out there. <laughs> it's just very, like, nondescript of Asmodeus. I mean, we've been to a beer. At least Freely has. <laughs> like, he knows for sure there's another world. Yeah, there is a... Yeah. Yeah, it, it's yeah. a rough joint, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not yeah. some place... Yeah. It doesn't seem what... like the sort of place that Asmodeus would want. And that's when you hear it, Lendra. You hear the scuttling of de demon claws echoing from high above on the edge of the crevasse. Would I hear it too? Oh, With I thought my I said thirty-two Rikera. passive perception. Yes. Sorry, did I say Lendra? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But you that's both fine. Do. You're like, no, 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 no. I intended to say Rikira. You know, Sorry, didn't hear it freely. But, yeah, freely's. <laughs> Freely's got his headphones on right now. Yeah, <laughs> really feel like, I'm watching you squiddling. I swear to God. No, no, just... I, I, I normally wouldn't um, parse something like that, but for an important reason, when I hear that, I look over to Lindra and I go, does that sound bad? I think it sounds bad. I cast Word of Recall and we end up back in Storm Herald, all of us. Excellent. You all pop into Storm Herald and all the squiddlings with, like, will the squiddlings come along? <laughs> nope. If no. someone's touching Squidlings. They're, nope. they're going to get yeeted off the edge you, of this ship if they do, yeah. You and up to five willing creatures within five feet of you. So if I have to move five feet to get everybody, but it's only the five of my friends, and I'm doing that on purpose because I am convinced that, yes, Squidlings would be yeeted off the side of Storm Herald. So as soon as I think we're getting ambushed gotcha. and that we there's nothing else we can do here, we're to recall, we're back in the control room in Storm Herald. All right, well, you pop, I didn't you want pop, to deal with that. You pop back into Storm Herald. One squidling is inside of Whittle's bat, cloak of the bat. <laughs> I do immediately. I'm bringing presents from Pacifius. <laughs> I do immediately look over the edge of Storm Herald, back down where we came from. Like, are there demons pouring in it or anything? Oh, just pouring in. I just say, Sophias, we should go. And I do start Eldritch Blasting because screw these things. <laughs> just bang, 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 bang. So, sorry, oh, there's, yeah, a, there's a there's a portal Sophias, on- Sophias, we should go? Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry, <laughs> Whittle. Is Whittle. Sophias here? I mean, well, I mean <laughs> I, what, Whittle, what she hath wrought is here. I, maybe she can hear me through this thing. Can you hear Sophie, me, Sophia? Tap, tap, tap. Is this yeah. squibbling on? <laughs> yeah. Right. You just tap, pick tap, up the squidling and uses yeah. the telephone and talk in its mouth. It's, yeah, it would put a tentacle in my ear. More tentacle here. Yeah. One. <laughs> yeah. Operator? No. Yeah. Yeah. Whittle, so please get it, us out of here. Is there a portal on um, Storm Herald right now with demons pouring through it? No. 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 What, what just or, happened? Or Don't get the DM ideas. Mm -hmm. There was. No, yeah. yeah. I heard a bad noise. And I cast Word of Recall, which is the spell that I use that teleports all of us back to the control center of Storm Herald, because that's oh. uh, you, no one really looks, but in the far corner in Storm Herald, there's like a little burn mark in the, the shape of a phoenix, and that's where I've got consecrated ground, and I have a a shrine, which is basically a burn mark on the ground, and that's where I can one of the two places I can teleport us to with Word of Recall. Uh, if you give me another long rest and we want to go to Hooper Duke, I can do that too. But that's it. I think we need to go to Sigil. Yeah, we need to jump the ship to Sigil. No, I agree. I'm just letting everybody know. Let's go. Yep. All right. Uh, um, Whittle takes the parking brake off and hovers her hand over a couple of runes and hops us to Sigil. The recently consecrated uh, holy vessel that is Storm Herald 
erupts into existence right next to Sigil. The City of Doors. A giant disc on top of a large, endless spire. And you have arrived. There are actual locations around the City of Doors that you can dock with. And you can see already the city has some measure of refugees enter entering into it from all places in the multiverse. Oh, there's going to be Burks everywhere. Briv, Penelope, remember, we do not look at the Lady of Pain. I know, I know normally when we're told not to do something, we go out of our way to do that thing, but we really don't look I've at I've already her. been through yeah. bending rules and everything else. I am pretty curious to try out my new found abilities because I think that I could stop it at least once. But um, it's probably going to waste too much time, and so I will do that after the universe is saved. Yeah, and I already learned the hard way, so we're good. Oliver <laughs> peers into the future and witnesses the I kind of the hate her of anyway. <laughs> I kind of hate her anyway, so... I mean, it, she is the lady of pain, so uh, yeah, she's, she's stupid. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, we, no, we probably shouldn't say that out loud like a lot, but uh, she's okay, all right. stupid. Lady of pain is stupid. I'm not looking at the. I don't know. Thou art stupid. So Will is uh, just checking out a safe port and looking at the uh, little GPS map upgrade, uh, yeah. making making sure there's no um, refugees near the port or where where Storm Herald is about to dock. Uh, not a ton. You you take one of the furthest out docks, certainly. All right. So, just a, a thought. Um, would it not seem that if they were counterfeit and using Avon coins to counterfeit, um, soul coins, it might be worth going to Avon and Sophia's franchise here. They have a oh, yeah, he's got that tank where he was like boiling a yes, vampire or whatever. Yeah, no, yes. yeah, I mean, I guess it's, it's worth checking out. I'm pretty boiling sure he's yeah, here, some, but, yeah. I don't know. Some really, really arrogant, uh, manipulating vampire named Victor was being eaten inside of a gelatinous <laughs> cube. Oh! <laughs> Rescue mission! Ah, I'm gonna go get him out of there. We, we, we thought we were scared of the Lady of Pain. <laughs> yeah. you no, know, no character bleed. We're friends. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise right. me if the Lady of Pain was a Ventru. I mean, come on. It's, I mean, she does rule the center of the universe. So, wow. Right. Um, there we right. go. <laughs> but, uh, also, also, friends, that is true. He did name a vampire Victor, and he did have it in a gelatinous cube, tormenting it endlessly. That also happened. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I mean, I, I don't think he's here. I don't know where Apron and Sophia's mountain is relative to here, but I mean, it's worth a look, I guess. Yeah, I Good. mean, there's, they've got that place that we lived at, worked at, with the big vaults that all the stuff is in. We, we mm -hmm. can go back there. We can huh? start there, at least. And the good news is this place doesn't seem overrun by demons, so there's that, at least, you know? The, yes. the heart of reality is yet to collapse. <laughs> You do uh, have keys, really. He did leave you the keys. Yeah, he left me the keys. Just my hand slides back, <laughs> slides back and like a key does come out. It probably has like a grinning Avon face carved in it. And I'm like, you made me promise I'd keep it. <laughs> so uh, we we are able to enter the city. Yeah, we used to are. live here. Hmm? Well, we weren't gods then. I... You are uh, God, God's little G. Fa. Yeah. If you were some the big of us G, have a bigger G so than much. other Gs. But... <laughs> I mean, I, I, I mean, objectively, Briv's got worshippers. I don't know if the rest of us can say that, but yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I cannot, and I'm fine with that. And Orkira will just walk bunch of burks fine we're back mm -hmm. in the cage let's just yeah. go let's just get <laughs> you, the place. Come on. you move throngs you see get the yankee you see all types of creatures you see some mind flares that have rebelled you see vampires non gelatinous cubes uh <laughs> you you see all types of creatures you see gif hip hop hi, hippopotamus men uh their rhymes are bombless uh <laughs> You sell types of creatures from all over the multiverse, some that you've never seen before. And you get to Avon's bar, the, the Bird of Doom. 
Could I? And it's just... open for business. There are light, large, flashing lights, and clearly people are pouring in. One thing, Rarf gave us a list of places, you know, all over the multiverse uh, that that were under attack. Uh, you know, the Gith asteroid was collapsed. You know, Fallcraft Hammerfast. Like again, Freely is not the smartest halfling, but he's been a lot of places. Uh, he's it's, been it's, a it's, lot it's, of places. <laughs> Is, does there seem to be any uh, like does this seem like refugees are coming to Sigil or is it like another day in Sigil? Like I mean it's it's always No, it seems like here. refugees have come to Sigil. Okay, all right. Yeah. Hmm. That there is like you every everyone that you walk by, you hear them talking about what's happening in the prime material plane. But I do stop for a second while we're walking and I'm like, of course the bar's open, of course. But hey, you guys why why haven't the demons come here however these people got here it they they could have done it too like why why aren't they here i'm assuming the lady of pain is a big part of that the, the city's <sighs> always been close to, to to powerful fiends and deities it's why it's remained neutral that being the lady said, enforces that yeah that being said i'm sure eventually things will get bad enough that they'll even come here but for the moment, there's got to be some places they still fear to tread. I'm sure they're not on every plane of existence, right? I'm sure if we went to Mount Celestia, they wouldn't be there yet. Yeah, makes sense. And then, and then I'm, I'm just going to say if Avery hadn't cleaned out his vault, I'm taking his, his, uh, his gym collection. <laughs> and then I just walk into the bar. <laughs> Very specific. I just uh, ran. I ran through my head a list of things that Avon would collect, and honestly, hand to God, the first four or five things in my mind really wouldn't want. And that's why I was like, I'm like, no, 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 gems. Okay. <laughs> oh man, how much? Uh, Will and Freely, you both definitely have the code to the safe. <laughs> <laughs> Will just Alinder, like maybe looks not over at safety. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, the and last time we were here, we didn't need the code. Alinder no. just got us in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you enter into the bar, and yep, you see, you see vampires parting it up. You see every type of creature from the multiverse. You see heron gods, little tiny rabbit folk, uh, having a great time, and. There is a dancer on the stage on a large kind of like prismatic pole as a skeleton, formerly cloned version of Avern is playing piano. Not Avern at all, just an undead skeleton playing piano. And you see a muscular, long bearded man uh, with his shirt off and very, very sweaty abs uh, <laughs> moving so around abs. a pole. Oh, so yes. Welcome abs. to my club. You're all welcome. Wait, you guys became woo girls just like instantly. Like, like <laughs> we haven't even had any drinks yet. Right. How, how, how is who? And like, and like, well, hold on. And he gets a towel and like wipes off off his abs. Bordrick walks over. Did you dip your towel in glitter? No, I was born this way. So, uh, how was Ravenloft? You escaped. Congratulations. Wait, who is this? Do we know this person? How dare you? I liked you the most once. Who art thou? I'm Fordred. I'm oh, back of holding. You go there every up. year. No, that's well, that's fine. Sounds made up. Fordred, who's watching your domain? Oh, we we put a snowman. I got my accent. Correct. <laughs> yep. Correct. Uh, we put snowman in charge of of you know. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's going great. Yeah, I knew it would. Business is going exceptionally well. So wait, when he calls ending. him a snowman, he doesn't get derided and no, chastised? No, it was, it was a quite literally a snowman that was in charge of For once he's the being, domain of yeah, bed. For once he's being accurate, he's not using it as a derogatory term that would make me unhappy. Correct. Oh. Literally really? a person You're looking made very divine. I mean, like, literally, you have the wings and the glow. Did he okay. talk to? Who is he talking to? Me? Freely? Freely. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
Th 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 thanks? I, um, hey, so do you know what's going on out there? And by out there, I mean everywhere. Yes, I've, we've all heard of it. Apparently the multiverse is ending. So uh, drinks, have, well, prices have gone up, to be quite frank. I, I would think they would go down. I mean, yeah, I would no, agree. No, no yeah. supply and demand. No, I get it. I mean, that's one thing I did pick up from Avrin. Um, hey, so uh, quick question. Um, this is the end of all things. We'd rather it not be. Um, we need to get into uh, Avrin's back room. Oh, okay. Well, I don't have the keys. He did not give them to me myself. That's... Uh, sorry. You should have I... been here yesterday. I... Yesterday no. was Oplex night. No, I literally have the key and the code and everything, and we're trying to save all of reality, so if, if we could just... You, you you could come with us if you want to, like, talk. But... Yes! Okay, no. that's fine. Well, no. I, I, no. I've been, I got a new workout regime, so I've been, like, just doing that, and I've I've got... Have you heard of it's very Keto? Glittery. It's very Keto? glittery. Yeah, the yep. keto's been working out for me quite a bit. Hast thou ever heard of functional strength? I mean, it's all functional. Uh, there, there, there are things that are for show, and there are things that actually do things. I've and... got both. It's all show and no go. Oh, dost thou? That <laughs> sounds made up, too. And mm -hmm. You make well, your way to the background. <laughs> While they're talking, can I just go dimension door into the into the the vault and start gathering all of the things into a demi plane? Uh, now that you have true sight, <laughs> you pop into the the vault and you see it's full, and it's been full. You see the eye of Vecna. Oh. <gasps> you see Pickle Rick. Still in his jaws. <laughs> you see a clone of Whittle. <laughs> Are there uh, any peaches in there by any chance? Millions. In the clone? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there, there are, are millions those are free, of peaches. Though. Those are free. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I don't know if you remember, but when Sophia was an artificer, she re made a few recordings. So that would be kind of cool to have. Into a oh, peach. That's right. Yeah, that's right. You did. Lauren remembers that. Mm hmm Orkira has uh, no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Look. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead, please. No, uh, just walk through there, and I'm like, okay, all right. So we have to we have to think like Avrin. Think like Avrin. I'm sure he he outsmarted Asmodeus at least once. He probably thought there'd be something Asmodeus would want and probably think that he alone could stop him and he would have been wrong and that's why he needed our help. But for once we need his help and he's off somewhere being with Sophia's who's a tree. So where do you think he would stash something in here that might actually help us? I mean, besides the peaches. The peaches are objectively incredible. Honestly, I don't think he would stash it here because if we thought to come here, Asmodeus thought to come here. I mean, but Asmodeus can't but come Asmodeus here. Asmodeus didn't least... have the key. So Alindra has a vial of of dirt from the Sophius and Abram tree around okay. her neck. Oh, no. It's glowing. Uh, and then she has an Abram coin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cap off of the dirt and I'm going to put it on the ground. And then I'm going to take the coin and I'm just going to spin it and see if it makes some sort of pattern in the the sand in the vault if it points to something if it spells something if it indicates anything because it's random and if if what asmodeus can't do is handle chaos that seems pretty random right i don't know i'm not very good at chaos <laughs> you almost hear like a it sounds almost like an old Irish tune you can't quite place. And the entire floor of the vault starts breaking apart and a stairwell leads to a lower floor of the vault. Who? Hey. Am I? 
and I gather everything back up and I put it back in the vial and I put the coin back around my neck. Um, well. So everyone go down? I, yeah. I just, as, as I look at this staircase open and I just like look down at it and I'm like, of course he would do this. Of course. You know, somewhere, I, I, I hope he knows he's right. You know what? He's earned this one. He's right about this one. And I just start going down the, the steps. I follow. Briv eventually, like, first of all, he makes sure that the door is very close behind them. He actually ends up moving some other heavy stuff in front of the door. Like he thinks that's going to keep somebody out. Um, and then he just sighs really, really heavily and starts shaking his head and he's muttering under his breath something about Avrin and he eventually starts walking down. You go down there and you find a number of items. You do find the Eye of Vecna is certainly there. You find a Vorpal Sword. You find a Ring of Three Wishes. Briv grabs that. There is a floating sphere of annihilation. <laughs> can can Orkira try to grab the ring and throw it into the sphere of annihilation? <laughs> I won't. I won't. I, I, won't. I said it first. There is let me go down the list before we start ending the universe in a different way. Um we're gonna there, put all of that in the bag of holding. And then there, <laughs> well, I have I have a, a demi plane where we can store this stuff so no one else can get to it and where we can leave it until we need it. There's the staff of the magi. Oh, nice. Oh, Andrew, that was yours for a while. Yeah, this was all mine for a while. Remember, this is all of my gear from Rex and Drum. Well, well not the the big floating sphere of death. I mean, you oh, just yes, had the I had amulet sphere of annihilation. Well, you there... had the amulet. Well, I, oh, I had the amulet. That's right. Yes. I had the control. And there's Black the Razor. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> Fantastic. <sighs> That's what we need, is someone to have their soul, their soul stolen. And there is another cubic gate as well. Yeah, this seems like kind of like his, like, okay, things have gone wrong panic room. Mm -hmm. But knowing Aethrin, one more time, I will take the dirt and scatter it on the ground and spin it. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> because uh... he's Aethrin, he's Mr. Redundancies. Okay, uh, another door Another <laughs> door opens up. Uh, there is an apparatus of the crab. It's a full tank-like machine, but instead of being like a crab, it's like a giant mechanical spider that Will actually helped design with him. Cool. And you find multiple suits of armor. Whatever, cl whatever cloth that you can wear, whether it's plate mail, uh, regular cloth, chain mail, whatever, you will find plus three down here do i find a set that will fit me oh yes you do in then fact this was designed for you or kira stands in front of it but doesn't take it i uh briv is going to start examining whatever uh plate he can find and he's actually going to try something that he's been considering for a while to see if he can take um his magical sword that's uh or, or weapon it can be any weapon and um see if he can siphon the magical energy from the armor into the metal in his bones so basically instead of because the sword or the weapon can siphon that energy into itself he is going to start seeing and, and i know this is probably going to take a while but he's still going to be uh you know trying to study that to see if he can transfer and siphon that energy into the metal inside him you can you can absorb it all right uh we'll start that process whatever that looks like yeah you tell me what that looks like <laughs> Um, well, uh, so can you answer mechanically, is this like attunement and a short rest, or is this going to be like a longer process than that? No, attunement and a short rest. Okay, so I, I'm uh, starting that, and I just tell everyone, I shall not be disturbed for, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour, something like that. I'm not using the bathroom, if thou art wondering that. I know Never. That I say that 
many times before I go to destroy the outhouse. But that is not what is happening this time. I am sucking something out of another thing and sucking it inside myself. And it shall make me more powerful than thou canst imagine. Uh, I mean, you grabbed that ring. Was there anything else you wanted while we're divvying this up here? Oh, no, I don't actually want this ring. I just wanted to give all of the some kind of heart attack, panic attack, some kind of something with attack. Uh, But uh, here, and then he just kind of flings the ring uh, back uh, towards, at this point, Alindra. Yeah. Catch really it. doesn't yeah it's like i mean you had to reset reality last time so i mean why go against the, why go against uh you know the the type fair um there is also a large glass gilded mirror on the other side i have to ask a question briv mm-hmm. do you still have the deck of many things i absolutely do I, I have not, that has been in the bag of holding from some of the first journeys. Yeah, it was from the of Temple of the heroes. Norn. Yeah. When you, when Briv stands in front of the mirror, you see Saranthus and you hear her voice. Why, hello. Oh. Only him or all of us? All of you. <laughs> okay, hear me out. Last time I let her out, it kind of worked out all right for us. <laughs> She killed uh, basically all of you. Some of you, several times. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I feel like we got enough problems. Penelope Are we talking possessed. in group chat or just panic talk? Just panic. <laughs> For me, anyways. I mean, she's not real. Oh, she looks. Oh no, real. Penelope! I am absolutely real, and Ruin is here too. And you see Ruin. The old man with a cane behind her. Everyone in the deck is here still. And you see a half a lithid, warped, twisted, cloned Averin as well. I would like to walk over to the mirror, pick it up, and I'll I'll say this so that uh, the other players have a chance to stop me, but Orkira is going to chuck it into the sphere of annihilation. Wait. She stops for a second and looks at you. Wait, what is it you're trying to check? Orkira has picked up the, the mirror, mirror that you're all looking at that oh. has Saranthus and the deck of many creatures I in it. Identify and... it. Go ahead. I cast identify. It uh, this particular mirror will show you not only it it not only functions as true sight, but it will show whatever is on a person. And allow whatever, like, if there was a soul in a soul coin, that soul would present itself. If that soul is trapped inside the deck of many things, it would present itself. Oh, because you, have, you still have, do you have the, still have the Saranthus coin, then? That's from the deck. She got absorbed into the... He, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's just she got absorbed deck into of the deck. Cards. I don't even know what it does. I mean, it does many things, honestly. Huh. Oh, um, that's why it's called It does, that. indeed. Hey... Hey, yeah, buddy. Maybe Hold it on, could wait. make us very powerful. Or Kira, we can always destroy them later. You know, we we at least need information. I agree. We should not let them out. I'm, I, I guess out. I guess they're in the cards, not in the mirror. But either way, uh, it, the mirror is not the problem. The deck's the problem. But either way, Saranthus, talk real quick here. Reality's on fire. If you're gonna like make your case, you should probably do it right about now. I'll put the mirror back down. Thank you so much, Or Kira. Well. I walk away. I what walk is, back upstairs. So what exactly I, is happening? I tell her. I, I actually don't. I don't. I don't hold back. And and I, I make a point after telling her everything that has happened. Asmodeus is up to, up to something, and we can't figure it out. He wants something to go somewhere beyond all of this, and we don't know where it is. Then you have to do something. You're not going to figure out what Asmodeus necessarily wants, but you have to do something that Asmodeus will not expect from you. I mean, I feel like we're pretty chaotic. I mean, like, we're not that hard to read, are we? Penelope, we're not that hard to read, right? We just, like, do stuff. Make alliances who would not think you would do. Don't even try it. Oh, wait. Even I see what you're doing with that one there. (laughs) I I know. I know. I know what you're 
you try to do the Raven? If there are demons completely surrounding the multiverse at this moment, then who is not an enemy of a demon? Not a demon's enemy? I mean, devils are. De de not, not, not. The point, sweet freely, is that everyone is an enemy of a demon. Every mind flare, every gith, every devil, everyone is the enemy of the abyss. Except for maybe the, the aberrations. But other than that, it's pretty much everyone is an enemy. What do you think Asmodeus expects you to do? Don't do it. Hmm. I had to burn down a world to save my people. What are you willing to do to save yours? Even the undead are afraid of demons. So hmm. what does being a hero necessarily mean to you? What is the cost of a life? Or everyone's lives? This is... This is real Soranthus, yeah? We've established? Oh, yeah. That's it. She's poisoned. Uh, are you done, Freddy? I mean, it doesn't make her wrong, and even so, the ish, it's not the mirror. She's in the cards. <laughs> but, I mean, it doesn't make her wrong. I'm not saying let her out. I'm not saying trust her. I'm not saying make an alliance with her, but it, it doesn't make her wrong. Every single step of this, as Modeus has been one ahead of us, knowing exactly what we'd do and where we'd be and how to lead us around just by the nose, just enough to then put us exactly where he wanted to decide. him. And I hold up the coin. We let fate lead us. Hmm. Well. Oh. Well, no. He said, everybody's afraid of demons, but what if there was something demons were afraid of? I don't know if any of them demons are afraid of. I mean, well, they haven't come here. There are a lot of places that are not here. Really, the city of doors cannot contain the entire multiverse, and they'll find a way. Now that there's no Avernus, you're going to have to make tough choices and make friends with some people that maybe you did not agree with in the past. You say this like this is something new. I am only trying to help. I only ever wanted to save people. That's a lie. Maybe we should just pull the card. No, don't draw the card. But well, don't, don't throw it in draw the... Her. It'll probably be like, you know, sun card, and it will make me even more powerful <laughs> than I am now. Look, Saranthus, for having us done this one solid, the deck's not going in the sphere of annihilation today. Ruin steps forward. What about me? I can help. I can help ruin whatever things Asmodeus are trying to do. You have an what entire you... deck of entities are trapped in this deck of cards that can help you. Death. The avatar of death is in the deck. Wait. We've been through this. We know exactly what you all are. But let me ask you one question. If we were to let you out, where would you go first? I just want to ruin things. That's Can't why you deal with this lady of pain. 
No, no, that is not the fight we want. Sick ruin on the Lady of Pain. That is not what we want to have happen. I'm not talking about for this apocalypse. I'm talking about after that's done and we've saved the universe. She's kind of the cork plugging a hole at the center of everything. I don't think we want to mess with that. Oh, well. I mean, it would be, like, really rad, though. Yeah. No. She's okay. Stupid. Wait. They're... They're... Okay. Oh, excuse me. If you guys... If you all don't mind, I turn the mirror around where we can't look in it. Put it against the This wall. is a horrible screeching noise. I just noise opened... You, like, pull it around. <laughs> I'll open the door to the, uh, to the demi-plane if you'd like to put it. Do yeah. you like to I do like I do like lay it face down where you can't like accidentally like walk in and be like, oh, oh no, it sees me. Yeah. Um, just quickly, does knowing that it shows who you are and what you're carrying, just quickly as that scans across the room, do I see anything strange about any of us? No. Okay. Uh it scans past Orkira and she's on fire. Okay, but that's not strange. That's not strange. No. At least I don't have tentacles. She looks like a giant bird made of flame. She's an avatar of the phoenix. Hey! Do I see this? It's like she's chosen. You see it in the mirror, yeah. Congrats! Wait, do you look like a gray vampire slash werewolf hybrid thing. <laughs> you look very unwieldy <laughs> in the mirror. I look even better than I thought. <laughs> I walk up to the mirror. I'm just peering into it. It's quite a striking look for you. Is there anything about me I still see, or do I just see a phoenix? It looks like a hybrid of both of you. Uh, Whittle, I, I need a investigation check from you, if you don't mind. Sure. I ha I Is have there any something. kind of liquid in the room? <gasps> Natural oh, 20! Yeah. Hey, next hey. What? Hey. 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 Chaos. Oh, some chaos! Uh, mm -hmm. okay, you got natural 20s? Uh, <clears throat> you... <laughs> Alright, uh, you find a button <laughs> in the wall. No, no. A bun that you push, not... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Though that would be very even on the nose. Here? It's a button in the wall. It's right. mm -hmm. a button. Yeah. Uh, you you dog, press yeah. it and a, a little tiny stone shelf pops out on a spring. Oh. She's just like, what's this button do? <laughs> self -destruct. And you did get a natural 20, so uh, oh. you find a scroll. A Ooh. very ancient, dusty scroll. She unrolls it. Achoo! <laughs> <gasps> Whoa. Alindra, can you read this? scroll of Tarask summoning. <gasps> <gasps> what? He had this, that, that, the entire time he had that? Like, that would have come in so handy in Port Argent. Like, uh, we could have, like, knocked out our whole issue in, like, an afternoon if he just had used that. And the world, along with it. Yeah, but we know that he uh, is worse than Asmodeus and likes to plan even the longer game. And I will point back at the armor that is all set up that is tailored for each of us. Br Briv, uh... <laughs> Briff walks up at this point and is still like, he's like looking in the mirror and he's looking at Orkira and he looks in the mirror and then you see him like take uh, something out that uh, he hasn't taken out of the bag much, but he like, you hear like a, like a, a cork pop out and then he starts pouring from a decanter of endless water <laughs> on top of her head, just covering her in water. And he's like looking in the mirror to see if it's putting the flames out. Some metaphysical part of that water is burning in some other like real true vision <laughs> like it's a steam is erupting in the mirror or but Kira's, not in real life or Kira's watching Briv do this just letting him pour water all over her head and when he turns to look in the mirror again she reaches into her handy haversack 
pulls out a blue jug and says mayonnaise and then starts to pour mayonnaise <laughs> over Briggs' head. <laughs> Oh, and just I, dead I, I stares use... at Briv and then looks in the mirror and says, so now what do you say? I use my boon of invulnerability to avoid all the damage. There's no damage. You avoid all the mayo damage. It's all, yes. it's all, it's all, wis it's all, it's all wi wisdom damage. It's all ability nope. damage. There's, yeah. there's no damage. There is just shame. <laughs> So it's, you, there's just slimy, slimy just, mayonnaise. Just metal and mayonnaise. Nine yep. hills, no. And you see that he's like <laughs> shooting metal out of his bones and like trying to like <laughs> shoo the mayonnaise away, like almost like windshield wipers. As yep. you are, mayonnaise is getting on everyone now. <laughs> oh, yep. Rib. Prestigation. Yep. You see that he takes the decanter of endless water and then he says, Geyser. And he puts it right in front of his face and then it just starts blasting him like a pressure washer. <laughs> and at that point, I will stop pouring the two gallons worth of mayonnaise and then look in what's left of the jug and say, well, at least you gave me a reason to finally. I was trying to help thee. Why wouldst thou attack me in that way? What were you trying to help with? Put thee out. Thou wast on fire. And thou didst assault me with this nasty substance. Brim. I have eaten some things in my time, Orkira, but this, this is not something to be eaten. She sticks her claw in and pulls out, like, whatever is, is left on her claw and says, Oh, I thought it was really tasty on the last sandwich I had and starts to lick it off of her claw. It, while this horrific exchange is taking place, I would like to hold up the counterfeit soul coin, the one that I knew was strange, and look at it in the mirror. Uh, it's like a, a hologram of Avrin, like a fragment of his soul that he kind of chipped away because once he did play a prank on Asmodeus, much like this, but he didn't do it with the intention of ending the blood war. He did it as a joke. So yeah, every soul coin has a fragment of Avrin in it, but this thing has been twisted and warped to some other means. So you see that fragmentation in the mirror. It's not just a piece of a soul it's a piece of his soul but who does that <laughs> my father <sighs> well i mean he's done us a solid here with some equipment thanks Averin. um i mean half of the stuff in these vaults we put in it anyway though honestly um but it's well, the eye of Beckness stares at you slowly. Yeah, yeah I'm like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, like, like I'm, I'm talking to you. Uh, uh, the reason, you know, if I might, say, I know you're talking to the mayor and everything, but like I can be very resourceful myself. I, I, <laughs> the reason we put it all in here is because it was all dangerous stuff that wanted to destroy stuff anyway. I don't know if releasing things that are just going to cause more destruction are really going to help, but I did want to know, and I'll look back over to Lindra as I am still licking Mandy's off of my claws. Hey, that sphere of annihilation, does it destroy everything? Everything. Including, like, magic stuff? Hmm? Including, like, magic people? Mm-hmm. I'm not putting my decanter of endless water in there, Okira. No, I was thinking about putting Asmodeus in there. I was having a similar oh, thought. Idea. Well, I mean, isn't he, like, a primal force of nature? Like, doesn't reality need him? I don't think it needs him anymore. How about you? I mean, I'm always going to vote for chaos, but we still haven't answered. Oh, the, why the, didn't the, fight it? The, we still haven't answered the one question we got to answer. Where the heck are we going? Where is I he trying to get to? I, do we need to answer that? Or do we just need to destroy him and do the one thing that he wouldn't expect any of us to do? I mean, the one thing he wouldn't expect any of us to do is nothing, but that's not very hero-y. Uh, I don't know about that. And I look back at Alindra again and I say, do you want me to use the ring or should you? I wait, hate... wait, 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 time, 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 time. Before we reset reality, at least we should like divvy up this swag. Okay. So if something's about to happen, we'll be ready. I wasn't going to reset reality. I mean, even if you're going to bring him here to throw hands, I still would rather, like, know what is, what is that? <laughs> as this do? happens, Briv yeah. just says, oh, I'm ready. And you basically say as he walks forward, there's, like, 
new parts of his metal that say it's like that scene you know when Iceman finally decided to like bow up and he's like <laughs> got like new spikes in places and everything because he's completed like siphoning out uh you know some of the the magical energy from the armor hey man you look awesome <laughs> <laughs> and just spikes everywhere it's gonna make hugs kind of complicated but that's okay that's okay you look pretty metal before, Brit, but now you're like super metal. Super metal. Uh, he, he like freely goes over and like looks at the like studded leather. Although I I, I must know, does it look like legit studded leather, or did like Avon put like some like embarrassing thing on this armor before he puts it on? Like he's very much looking for like a kick me sign. Uh, like uh, uh, you must be this tall to wear this armor. You know. Something. Can I help? No, can it's, I help? it's definitely leather. Yep, it's <laughs> halfling. It's halfling studded leather. It's made out of halflings. I'm like, it's probably Possibly. made out of halflings. Oh, you know. But I do put it on though. It's made yeah. out of Avery and clones. <laughs> Did, didn't uh, Avery and have a some kind of barber shop? I mean. Oh, 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 and where pie? they were turning people into meat pies <laughs> in the back? Mr. Are there meat pies? <laughs> it's it's on the way out. Were you serious about the armor being made out of Averin clones? Let's not get <laughs> let's not get into details. Yeah, uh, no, is, no, 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 no. This, 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 this is super duper important for resurrection reasons. Uh you don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know that you just want to randomly like give life back to anything that's in this place. Yeah, this is probably true. But if if I try, and it's made out of a cow, we just end up with a cow. But if it's made out of Avery, we, we end up, up with, with an Avery. Uh, yeah, but we, 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 we and we, we end up we with end steak. Up with, we end up with a duplicate Avery that he didn't think highly enough of to like keep around. So I, I still don't know that that's that's optimal. Yeah, Avery's soul is very much wrapped up and suffused in his current body even though he is in an, an, an undead lich form he is his soul is in there much like a bell let's try it for the cow though we have a little piece of him yep um ooh, we're about to sneeze <laughs> bless thee because the other uh, thing i was going to suggest is go. uh using that ring of wishes to bring Avrin here because obviously Avrin had a plan so we might as well find out from the guy himself right oh that seems like a suspect well, use of a wish Alindra walks away insulted be good. <laughs> because that's what she did the last time she had a wish. I mean, it was we a can... good idea. I would have helped, but I was dead at the time. What? Uh, you hear a voice from upstairs. Whoa, there are a lot of stairs. What's up? Wait, I don't know this main stairs. Hi, Rob. Can you hear Rob? What's going on? Why does it smell like mayonnaise? And why is there so much water down here? And also oh. mayonnaise. You want some? There's still a little bit left. No. Why would anyone want mayonnaise? Because it's We're... delicious. No, it's not. We've created a new fiend here in this I, place. I just wish I had a sandwich right now. So oh, okay, nice. so I'm not coming all the way down the stairs, but uh. How didst thou get here? This place was locked up. No, we kind of left it open. No, no I we, we intentionally put heavy things in front of the door. Yep. Well, he's slippery this, like that. I used to run this club. Oh, sorry. I, I did skip over that bit, so I apologize for it. <laughs> uh, if it makes you feel better, he's not a devil. <laughs> uh, I feel much better. Okay. We're just trying to figure out our next move here while we're, you know, giving up. Um, giving I'm up very equipment. suspicious of this Rav, too, since we heard that it was Oblex night the night before. <laughs> okay, Megan, you, uh, uh, Whittle gets automatically one of her first little spells back. Ooh. It's relatively painless. Uh, Rar appears to be Rar. If you've got your true vision on, I had it on with Freely too. <laughs> uh, but I I will trust that this is the case. They're uh they're attacking Baldur's Gate now, and uh, well okay, the it's time. The, the gods have gotten involved. Well, it took them oh. long enough. Which gods? Torment here. 
currently at Baldur's Gate. But, uh, Orcus and Baphomet, they killed Palor. His avatar is gone. It'll take a while for Palor to regenerate. He won't be able to come back to this plane again. They're leading the demon charge on Alder's Gate. Orcus and Baphomet are? Yes. I mean... We could stop Orcus and Baphomet. That wouldn't be too tough. Mm, pretty simple. I just want to see it like everyone when they started and everyone when they're here and this level of confidence that has yeah. risen. Briff's level of confidence I, I has that. stayed the same the whole I mean, time. honestly, to tell you the truth, Briff and Freely at level two still would have thought they could stop working. Oh, like, like, come on. I mean, how hard can it be? Come on. Wait, you mean the tried. goat dude and the skull dude? Yep. Easy. Yep. I, I mean, even the Trask can't stop them. Why? I mean, it's like it a giant could. dinosaur with yeah. spikes, of course. It, it would just probably continue wrecking Baldur's Gate afterwards, would be the oh, challenge yeah, there. Yeah, we couldn't stop it, but. Or could we? No, it, it's. It, it, it literally is not powerful enough to stop them. To stop those two? We I mean, no, yes. I really, I, like, if we are powerful enough to stop those two, I'm certain the Tyrannus, it's just like swallow Baphomet or something. Like, that would that would be like, I mean, again, yeah, you have a whole different set of problems. Back to the core of the Earth, yeah. yes, yes. But, Rav, do you think it's worth trying to reclaim or defend Baldur's Gate, or should we skip ahead to, like, the next campaign? I don't know. I don't even know what's going on right now. He walks through the mayonnaise, and he opens up a secret panel, and there's this, like, root beer in some storage facility and he opens up opens up a root beer and starts drinking I mean, that is probably far past his expiration date uh i can't taste anything anymore anyway so that's fine uh, uh i don't i mean i vote fight at least if we know there's somewhere where someone we can fight and hit and people we can help that's always what i'm gonna want to do but i mean the whole point is everything i think is the right thing is apparently the wrong thing so that's just I get my that vote. All the time too. So listen, the people who do all the thinking around here, what dost thou think we should do? And then let's go do that thing. Or we should do not that thing. So yes, you guys tell us what you think we should do, and then we're gonna do not that. That's kind of mean, freely. We've been with everyone for a long time. We're I supposed mean, to I do something time unpredictable. Like four weeks or we're, something. We're supposed to be unpredictable, right? And I will let everyone know as Dungeon Master, and B Dave knows I'm not lying. Everything is on the table. I'm not screwing around. Alindra? No, I'm here for it. Did you see my, my addition to that thought? Well, I say go for it. I mean, the last time Paylor died, it was my fault too, so. You want me to do this? And I maybe, hand you, maybe you'll be smarter about it this time, though. I hand you the ring. Is this the plan? I don't have a plan. I'm uh, activating. Wait, the... is anyone going to fill us in on this? I, I said, like, tell us first, maybe. Like, what are we doing? In I the think... psychic link so that I don't accidentally activate it. I was going to wish that Asmodeus was standing right here in front of the uh sphere i grabbed I the gonna push him in and i, I, gra was... I grabbed the staff of the magi right when she says that i just pick it up i'm like okay and i grab the gate just in case this goes wrong oh it's gonna go wrong <laughs> why not just wish him into it why does he have to be here and then you have to there's... push him there's nothing in the sphere you, you can't wish something into nothingness like that okay. but oh i was thinking i wanted to make sure he ended up in it because if he if i just wish him into the sphere we don't actually know he ended up in there but if we push him in at least we know he ended up what in there if we wish him halfway into the sphere so <laughs> like 
just his like lower half and then we'll see his face and we'll be like oh we confirmed that that is asmodeus mm -hmm. and then he's already in there and there's no funny business or legendary actions or anything like that rev you're pretty strong right i'm possibly the strongest mortal being uh oh i'm not mortal anymore so yes i'm very strong i love it stand right here and i'm gonna point to a spot uh 10 feet away from the sphere Okay. Can you do that? Sure. I'm going to grab the ring. I'm going to look at is, this. Has everybody grabbed whatever you're going to grab? Because when this almost well, so certainly So you're, you're fails, taking the staff of the Magi? Well, I grabbed it, but you're welcome, you're welcome to it. Okay. I think the Lindra should have the staff of like, <laughs> the Magi, right? <laughs> you're welcome to it. Um, There was armor for us? Mm -hmm. I'm taking Everyone that. Everyone has plus three armor. Mm -hmm. I took the armor um, and I stuffed it in the bag, but I haven't had time. I need like 20 minutes to don and doff it. And I don't think Orkira has the, uh, I don't think she can manage to hold on to the resolve to do this for 20 minutes. And there's nothing else in, in any of this that she can use. So I think, I think if you want this to happen, it has to happen now. Otherwise someone suggests she go put on the armor and in 20 minutes, she will not have the courage to make okay. this wish happen. So the plan is summon. Summon push. Summon push. Um, it probably so won't work, but at least Are there the any things we can do to boost the, the potency of this? What do you mean? To prepare for this, to assist... If so. We're literally about to summon the devil into a room. False. No! Wait! That you gets them that into like... Sigil! No! No! No, 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 no! 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 That gets them into Sigil! The Lady of Pain would probably be pretty And I kind of look at Freely and I go, that's a good point. Maybe that means which, the lady can take which, care of him if this which, fails. Which that's, see, see, normally me being like, yeah, let's just fight him and eradicate him. That is what I would do. But saying not that yeah. is Sometimes different. Sometimes the rest of us are smart too. But let's just take the sphere of annihilation somewhere else then. We'll do, we'll do this on the Phoenix's plane or something. We can't bring him in the second. We can take it. We can take it straight into, I can create a Jemmy plane for this exclusively for this purpose. I was thinking the same thing because we came through the steps over there. So if if we summon Asmodeus oh, here, hang on. Uh, never mind. I cannot. That, I can do it. That would be no, no. no it, it, the sphere can't go into a into an extra dimensional space like that. No, I was I was thinking in the event that Asmodeus does not go into the sphere and tries to escape, and we have a demi plane at the entrance to the room we're in. He tries to go through that, then he gets trapped. He can teleport. Uh, There's always that. Quiet, quietly, I can I, ready, Maze. I quietly pray to the Phoenix. If we try to destroy Asmodeus on the plane of fire, you're going to be pissed. No. Okay. Because if it goes wrong, I'm bringing him right to your doorstep. And I've already killed one god this way. Okay. Penelope? <laughs> yeah. You got plane shift? Yeah. Let's go see. Let's go. Let's go destroy Asmodeus in my favorite place in the multiverse. Okay. So, who's, who's got this fear? I'm assuming a little bit. I may be the can only one who can touch can control it, it. Or, like, what? Do you have to use gloves or? Um, you have to pass a, a, a wisdom or an intelligence 25 check, Arcana. Okay. And that would allow me to control it. Not it. <laughs> so that must be the 17. Okay. I have foreseen this moment. 
Gives me 14 on the dice with a plus 17 to my arcana. So that's a 33. All right. You all plane shift from the city of doors into the <sighs> elemental plane of fire. How long do you want to prepare? Because we are ending, we are approaching the end of this particular adventure. I am willing to give you a eight-hour rest if you want to prepare. A yes, long please. rest, you? Would be, and a long rest would be ideal. Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> We're gonna we're only gonna fight a god. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Or Kira, will you be able to maintain your nerve? Because you did say that you weren't sure that you could. <laughs> yes yes i can as i, I believe a natural in you. 20 on a deception check wow Ooh. yeah that's what i love about shared dice rolls because there's like a uh, it's very meta <laughs> i'm telling you all i just rolled a deception check i rolled a natural 20 which is a 24 i still have a negative three to everything so it's 21 so depending on what your insight is you can probably still get it but she looks right at you alindra after taking a very long breath and says I can, yeah. Yeah. And what Let's see here. Do? My passive insight is a 20. <sighs> nope. I had no idea. Uh, I just, I just look I, at Briv. I, I just rolled a one. I just ah. look at, look at Briv and Penelope and I'm like, all right, we're just going to like, like crash, take a little nap. Then we're going to like fight. I as my days and save reality. So, gonna... uh, so Todd, this is a little while, but I'm going to just say this, and you can tell me later if you want to. But um, I'm going to, since I just learned a new trick with trying to siphon this magical energy into the metal of my bones, I am going to try to do that with one other magical item that I have um, that I would like to see if I can take on its properties, and that is an immovable rod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you still got your movable rod. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Are I don't you know trying to tell me you're trying to absorb the properties of a movable rod right now. Where, as an action, I can make my the metal in my bones immovable. You know what? Here we are at the end of all things. I will allow yes. you to absorb your yes. movable rod. I like where <laughs> this is going. Yes. Oh wait. In that eight hours, I'm gonna try to do that. Man, he slept like a rock last night. <laughs> so cool on the Eva battle. <laughs> All right. So everyone tries to have a long rest. It... I'm not going to do anything. I'll put the ring away. But if we're here on the elemental plane of fire where my god is, I will. And we can do this later. I'm going to go chat with them. All right. Well, we're going to leave it there. Oh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. All right. Well, we are on the eve of a fight with Asmodeus. I believe in you as your He's on the master. eve of a fight with us. <laughs> we're not locked in I'm here not with him. He's unless, locked in here with us. <laughs> hey, unless we do the unexpected thing and we just give him a hug. Oh. That will definitely be confusing for a solid minute. <laughs> oh, I mean, if gonna... everything goes the way Orkira wants it to go, there will be no fighting. There will just be Briv giving a really strong push once, and I... that'll be the end of that. I think we both know that's what's not going to happen. <laughs> I was, you know what? Hope is what keeps Orkira and I going sometimes, and here we are. It's, I am. Hope, uh... hope is literally what has kept Freely going. This mm -hmm. time. It's true. <laughs> literally and figuratively. Be, my DMs will be open all week. Nope. If you need me to be open, if you need to talk to me about stuff, well, you know, why would you need to talk to me about anything? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> For now, let me say this is all gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. Just come back next week, and you're gonna see us mess up Asmodeus, and it's gonna be this is silky smooth and uneventful. We got the Phoenix here We're on the plane of fire. Nothing bad's gonna happen. To any of this. In the meantime, if you have not checked out Demi Plane yet. Please do. Uh, it's free to sign up. You can play games with your friends. Find some friends to play games with. Obviously, we're all fans. Check it out. Uh, thank you for tuning in as always. Thank you to Sirenscape. Thank you to Tailspire. Thank you to Todd. Thank you to our cast. Thank you to you. And we will see you all next week. It's going Bye, to everyone. be fine. <laughs> we're totally not going to die. <laughs> no, totally.